Hello and welcome back to Europa Universus 4. I am Lord Forwind here playing as the Naj. Still trying to do the Jihad achievement. Currently we are up to 197 provinces. And uh, sadly though, we seem to have lost our alliance with the Ottomans. <laughs> Apparently Austria and their allies, despite beating the Ottomans, figured that annulling treaties with uh, having the Ottomans annul their alliance with me was worth the war, which is kind of sad. So we have till October of this year, and then they will probably become aggressive towards us. So hopefully that's not too big of an issue. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to declare war and try and conquer more of Kalundwe here. Um, and hopefully I can, once that treaty runs... Why can't I actually attack them now that I'm looking at it? Oh, it says I don't have a Kaze Bell. Yep, there we go. <laughs> From uh, the last video, I hadn't actually uh, ticked the time on at all, so that would be why. Uh, we should handily win this one. Uh, we're actually making money. Sadly, these guys are still rebellious. Um, if we pay off their debt, though, they'll be loyal. I don't want the Ottomans to do something weird like guarantee the in their independence or something. That would be extraordinarily frustrating. We are now colonizing more of the Indonesian islands. Um, probably going to need to fight a very vicious, long slog, drag-out war with the Ottomans. So I'm currently buffing my defenses on their border. Hopefully the absolutely insane amount of attrition I can put down onto them would be enough. I'm thinking also if they do attack, I'm probably going to do some scorched earth tactics and stuff if possible. I think that's still a thing, right? How do you do, can you still do scorched earth? Maybe you can't. Oh, I need an army up there. Um, so okay, if they declare war, I have to raise an army, then do some scorched earth. And I'm hoping if I can just. Wearing them out due to fighting their way through the desert would be enough. I'm um, probably, if I get enough admin power, going to relocate my capital down here or something. Um, just so that my capital keeps getting taken in every war I fight in. <laughs> Pretty much, which is not a good thing at all. Um, okay, let's throw down that defense there. Trying to build some forts on the borders. Luckily, except for Cairo... Uh, and Baghdad. The rest are in pretty inhospitable terrain. For example, this one has 68 fort defense, so it's going to be pretty hard for them to wipe it out, um, especially if it's a level 2 fort. But the problem is I won't be able to actually directly fight the Ottomans, I don't think. Um, they have so superior military attack, it's kind of sad. Three whole levels, four whole levels ahead of me. Um, but we'll see how it all works out. For now, I should easily win this war. Um, once this war is done, then I can start thinking about that, unless the Ottomans attack me. Um, I know between my older save and this save, I went back because I got destroyed by the Ottomans. I'm thinking if I get destroyed by the Ottomans this time, I'm just going to um, end this Let's Play and try again on the next patch that comes out, probably. Um, I'll start a new uh, Europa game, or I'll actually probably I'll finish off my Russia when I really should do that. Um, and I'll wait till the next patch, because they're adding some more countries and provinces to Arabia, so hopefully it'll make it a more exciting area to play in. Um, so that's probably what I would do. Um, we'll see. I hope I don't get killed. I have a really good heir coming to the throne, and I would like him to rule, but... Eh, who knows? Um, there we go. Let's get some maritime law. I also still have to, I'm still paying a ton of money to try and reduce my corruption, which is a problem. Um, yeah, I also really do need to get another um, tech going up. Um, if I can get another admin tech, I get another idea group. Um, thinking I'd probably do. Probably quantity, to be honest. I'm taking, uh, I need larger or more armies, plus the reduced maintenance would help. There we go. I'm moving my troops over here to try and kill off their army before they take all my forts. That should be, yeah, stack wiped. Good. And then let's attack. Ah, oh, they took the fort. Darn, so they're going to get the defending penalty, uh, bonus. Alas, makes no difference. I did stack wipe them. Um, let's send you over there. 
the Ottomans are hostile towards me still. That's ideally how much land I want to take. Obviously it's going to be a ways and some time till I can do that. Especially my army has to rebuild. So that's the problem is I have a very shallow manpower pool which is why if I survive I'm going to go quantity just so I actually have an army that I can fight with. Which will make a big difference. I'd really like Luongo here to peace out of the war. That's not going to happen. What's the odds that the Ottomans... They still... They don't even want to consider peace. They're so hostile towards me right now. Yeah, they want all my lands. Shame. I'm going to say I'm friendly towards them. Maybe that would keep them happy. I have no clue. I have really high trust, but apparently that's not enough. Which is a bit stupid, because we were just really good friends until that one war. Um, Pre-morale, though, is nice. Now, even if I do get into a war with the Ottomans, despite them having superior um, tech, it shouldn't be entirely one-sided, because I actually do have enough... I did get to level 15 morale bonus. Now oh, you're orphaned, of course. Or exiled, technically. Okay, we can't dis no longer claim that province, so we'll deal with that. And that's over. Uh, I doubt I'm actually going to need any claims on the Ottoman land if, for example, I was able to win a war with them. We have nowhere near enough to get to a golden age, which is a real pain. Um, we can't even promote a culture because we're too far behind there. We'd have to get to level 20 to prov promote another culture. Um, speaking of other things, though, we do have five absolutism. Not that that helps much. Um, they will yield those provinces. Only reason I'm not taking more is I'm at... Uh, Actually, no, I can take more. I should take more. I should take that much. And then take money. Okay. For some reason, I got the aggressive expansion confused with the overextension. My apologies. I know better, too. <laughs> I've done this enough. Um, let's up this fort there. Oh, if the Ottomans do attack, at least they'll be delayed a little while. Um... Wait a second. Oh no, I should build it in Baghdad now that I'm thinking about it. I guess I was building a, um, what is it, manufactory in Baghdad. Makes sense, I guess. That's going to be the issue. Is I'm going to fall even further behind in tech soon. Okay. I really do just need to take this fort and this war is probably over. I've taken their capital, I've taken all their other forts. Usually that's the way it goes, plus they have separatists now. In some ways I hope the separatists win, because then I won't be able to build, rebuild and come after me later. But apparently separatists lost, but we have 100 war score. Let's take that, take the amount of money we can, and leave. Because we're going to have an absurd amount of converting to do. Go, I'm going to obliterate most of my absolutism by raising autonomy, but I need to. Um, yeah, I'm send these guys back to the coast where I should move them up to oppose the Ottomans if they get aggressive. Oh, it's actually ticked down. They're actually a little bit fr more friendly to me now. Interesting. Okay. Could have let that tick onwards. I'm actually getting close to that new, next admin tech. I want to snag that because it'll uh, lower my uh, unbalanced research a bit, which will help. Looks like the Ottomans are beating up Poland Lithuania again. Which I guess is okay. I think they must have hit the decadence of the Janissaries event. It's the only thing I can think of. Um, 
Why does it want me to save their people in Jazan? Where is Jazan anyway? Another thing I gotta be a little bit wary of is the Persians. I'm no longer protected by the Ottomans. I really should check out more allies. What else are there? Hmm, not liking any of these really. Um, Genoa might not be a bad ally there. Pretty well, pretty good size at the moment. They're allied to Great Britain. I've got Tunis still as an ally, which is nice. What else do I have as allies? Kiva and Delhi, so I guess that helps. I wish I could get a European power on my side, like Great Britain or something. Hmm. Sadly, no one in Europe likes me. How much would I have to do to get England on my side? Let's just find out. Um, a lot. <laughs> they don't respect me whatsoever. Um, I think I will take Genoa, though. Um, Genoa. Um, just be... No, actually, no, I can't. I'm at diplomatic relations. Shoot. Um, rival of our rival. Get Poland happy with me. I'll take the free um, power if I can get it. Three monarch points. Ottomans allies are Kiva, Tunis, and Brunei, of which I'm allied to two of their allies, but one of them's currently occupied by Lithuania. Okay. Um, I, I was going to relocate my government. I should do that. Um, how much does it take? I cannot move there because. Where would actually be the best location? I could pull, I have 86% of the trade here, so I'm guessing I should probably put it in this trade node. Mombasa? It's not in a state yet. Um, yeah, I'll see if I can move it to Mombasa. I can. Okay, we are now located in Mombasa. And I'm going to shift my trade as much as I possibly can. Oh I have to change uh, I have to change my trade node too. Shoot. Oh bother. Okay, um let's find an East India trading company. Get some money out of that. Um Lemma, Amir's is that enough? Good. We need a lot of Diplo power for that, but at least our capital is no longer in a bad location. Um, actually, that means I need to readjust this trade first. That way I don't go bankrupt. In the meantime, I'm still going to be losing money, but it won't nearly be as bad. Um, let's pull on some trade from this node. Actually, I should probably put it down here now that I think about it. Because um, it won't transfer the bonus. That's a little bit, but every little bit helps. Okay, Diplo Power is going up. Admin still going up rapidly. What is this? Two more provinces to convert after this. Only one of which we can convert. Fair enough. I have to core all of that land. Luckily, outside of those provinces themselves, we seem to be doing pretty well with stability. The Ottomans are almost even happiness with us, which would be wonderful. Also, the Ottomans' rivals. I can't. I don't think I can adjust to that now. Okay, well we'll have to wait on that. We still got a long way to go to get any of the Age of Absolutism stuff, sadly. Um, at least our colonies are doing well at the moment, which is nice. It's 
that point, I might want to consider moving those into a trading company to try and pull more wealth out of that region. But for now, we'll have to wait. Apparently, at some point, I'm going to have to get into a war with Malacca. There's almost no way I'm going to manage to get this achievement. So I've already kind of accepted that. Um, I'm just so far behind where I'd need to be. Unless I had a miracle victory where the Ottomans broke apart, I'm not going to succeed. Oh, well, we'll see how far I can get. And I've learned quite a few lessons for next time. Colonizing works, but it might not be the most efficient way. However, we do have um, at least one positive relation with the Ottomans, which is kind of nice. Um, they've got a huge amount of separatists in their land. Wow. Um, the issue is those are Mamelukian separatists, so they're going to move to my territory next. So let's run an army up there. Besides, my next war really does need to be against probably Ethiopia and Midribahri to break them. We can't yet move our trading post, sadly. However, we are converting pretty quickly. It's looking quite uh, Sunni over here. Oh, yeah. It's always confusing that the trading nodes sometimes have the same colors as countries. Um, we'll stay pious, I guess. Hopefully it'll keep the Ottomans from being less aggressive towards us. Also, in case you're curious, the reason I keep stealing all the money from the Domini is because once I finish converting those provinces, they tend to go, they go away. So once I'm five years past here, I can convert that and they will go away temporarily. Besides, with already the tech penalty I have, the 5% doesn't help much. On the other hand, our corruption is ticking down. We're actually below 9 corruption, which is amazing. Sadly, I didn't get that tech level, though. But what can I say? Ottomans are on my border, and boy, are they angry. Um, yeah, we're probably going to have a war with them. In which case... I would actually be better off having my army in Arabia than Egypt, I think. Because Egypt's just going to get overrun. Oh, it's a claim against these guys. I wonder if I can actually threaten them for land. I wouldn't mind gaining like one or two provinces for free. Um, yeah. Yes, they will yield it. Okay, that gives me all of Arabia under my control. Since that was taken over a while ago, I can easily convert it. Uh, it's now giving me a mission to finish off these guys. I actually could do that right now. I probably should. Just to eliminate them as a nation, even if they're a one-province nation. One never knows. If I get attacked by the Ottomans, everything could fall apart really fast. Okay. Declare war. Conquer you. March in. Victory is mine. We just have to convert our last couple provinces. We are over 100... Su uh, 200 Sunni provinces. I really should be higher, but that's the best I can do at the moment. Apparently Castile is no longer a valid rival, which is interesting. I can't add a rival at war, of course. Forgot about that. Lubeck is still alive. That tells me something. Look at Mainz up here, though. They were huge. I'm suspecting this was a coalition, right? Oh yeah, that was a coalition. <laughs> oh my. Uh, we're going to see Mains disappear extraordinarily fast. Let's just see what has to... I think they... I'm surprised they haven't actually ended the war yet. Are they still... They must... 
Maybe they're fighting over which provinces to take. Who knows? Um, we'll finish off you. We'll have you revoke all your cores just to be on the safe side. Got that. Got some nice amount of money out of it, actually. We do have to convert the province, but I can deal with that. I still have this whole area down here to colonize if I need to, which I'm going to have to at some point, but I'm fighting for the islands first since they're more valuable. Okay, load you up. Move you over here. You're starving because you're standing in the middle of a desert province. I don't think there's any place actually in Arabia I can station this army. Uh, I don't think that's technically in Arabia, but near enough. Near enough to make no difference to me. Oh, you poor Ottomans. I just want to be friends, buddy. Um, we have the institution in a handful of our provinces, actually. Um, advancement effort... Advancement effort. I am going to take the tech level because it gives me a little bit more cavalry shock. Sadly, not enough to make a difference, but every little bit matters. I'm trying to keep the Ottomans from killing me. Sadly, I don't think I can even give them like military access. Yeah. Okay, colony done. Let's go snag the last couple provinces on this little teeny island of... What is this? The Malaccas. Okay. Our other colony is almost done as well. There we go. Eliminate them. The province was converted. Good enough. Trying to now save up money enough to get towards the institution. We're getting it down there slowly. Oh, we've got the merchants events. Joy. 69. That's a sad loss of money. I should be able to get it back at some point though. This colony is going to be done next month. There we go. Okay, you're on the way there, you're on the way there. I can't attack them until I have 32. Still don't have Boscoga converted. There we go. And voila, they're done there. So that's that entire area colonized. Next I've got to deal with the Philippines really like Ternate to colonize somewhere outside of Australia, but eh. I'll take the legitimacy hit, I think. I can't attack these guys for 10 years. I don't want to get into a war with Ethiopia or Medribari because Ottomans would be sure to pounce. In fact, I have a mission to take some of their land, the Ottomans. Oh, actually, to slow them down, I should do counter espionage in case they want to take my lands. That should slow down them. They'll still have a claim, but they won't have as many as they did before. Overall, though, they're, they're hostile, but they're not actually attacking me. Oh, well. Uh, let's end this video here, and uh, we'll continue next time. Um... We're doing okay. We got about 150 years left of this world, assuming I don't die to the Ottomans. We are definitely, I'd say, the largest nation in Indonesia, which is kind of awesome. Um, we can't beat either Pasai or Malacca. Malacca is the Ming, so there'd be. A, I might actually be able to get away with it because I don't think the Ming can actually get to these islands that easily. But I don't really want to risk it. Not with a Ming that's both stable and 
very advanced in their ideas and tech level. They have a hundred percent mandate. Um, Japan is yet to be united. Korea is conquering Mongolia. Yeah, really the only ones that are horrifying right now are the Ottomans in Great Britain. So that will be it, and I'll see you guys all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.